Welcome guys to another episode of Sky Wars. So school just started for me, so I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about that. I know I've talked about school a lot recently, but you know what? It's a big deal. Le leave me alone. See, people always tell me that seniors have like this special mindset that makes the year completely different than every other year, and I believe it. I'm just I don't feel any different. I feel exactly the same as I have for quite a while. And honestly, I've developed a theory on this. I think I've been a senior this whole time in like spirit. Like, halfway through junior year, I just stopped caring at all, and I just became a senior. Not on paper, didn't get a, didn't get to skip any classes, but you know, the mindset was adopted. And now, I can't get any more done with school than I already was, so it feels the same. This year is really... This year is really... Okay. You, you just... Nope. And then strength... See, that was actually really dangerous, but he didn't even have his weapon out. He was not expecting to move that bold, so it worked out. That or I got lucky. I, I like to attribute very complex explanations. Just don't even consider the luck part. Nah. Nah, it's all intentional. It's all part of my master plan. Let's go. Yeah, whatever. But honestly, this year is really weird because... Wait, how'd you get here? Oh, whatever. This year is really weird because... Well, the, the problem is I have, like, two types of classes. I have the really hard classes that take a ton of work, and then I have, like, the baby mode classes. Like, I knew they were going to be easy, but I think I underestimated how effective I was at getting easy mode classes. And the difference is really extreme. And I have to go back and forth. It's not like my hard classes are, like, lined up. No, I have to go back and forth, so I'll go go to my like my first class and it'll be like okay so everyone take these uh take these sheets and go make friends with people and introduce them to the class and I'll go to my second class and goes remember those 50 essays you had to read we're taking a taking a huge test on them hope you studied and then I'll go to my third class and it'll be like all right so um I'd like to introduce myself and the entire class period is like a teacher Q&A and then I'll go to the fourth class and they'll just instantly slam me with a discussion on literary merit and what it really means. And then I'll go to my fifth class and I'll be like, alright, so we're going to be learning what a variable is today. Do you guys know what a variable is? It's important. It, it's the, the difference between the two types of classes. Just, I haven't gotten over it. Is that guy dead yet? Come on. Come on. Do you, do you mind? Do you mind, sir? Do you mind? Do you mind? I, I don't think he minds at all. Alright, well. Whatever, we can go get this gear. No, he's actually... I'm gonna pick up the gear anyways. Alright, and we fight. And good game. I think the best example of the baby mode classes is my science class, because we like walk in on the first day and this guy is like, alright, so what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take a ruler and measure like, your height, how long your arm is, how long your nose is, and you're gonna write this stuff down, and then form a spreadsheet. That's your assignment for week one, and I'm sitting here like, what? Did I, did I just get transported back to fourth grade? Rulers? That's what we're learning. The rulers are just the most complex scientific instruments of discovery, honestly. Very difficult to use. I, I don't know what they're teaching me. They want me to write an essay on the findings, too. What is the essay going to be about? I, like, okay. Okay, it's supposed to be like 500 words. But really, my findings come down to men equal tall, women equal not quite as tall in general sometimes. That's basically the results I've gotten from this. I thought it was common knowledge, but I'll just write 500 words on it. You know what, I'm, I, I've learned how to just really stretch out simple concepts. I have a YouTube channel dedicated to it, so I think I'll be fine, but it's still such a weird essay to write. Honestly, though, the weirdest thing that's happened to me this year, and this year's been really short so far, so I'm surprised something that caught me this far off guard has happened. We were, like, we're supposed to read these uh, essays for English, and one of these essays was just, like, detailing this, uh, the effect of poverty and how it was a big problem in their, in their kingdom or whatever, and I'm just like, alright, 
and he's going to propose a solution. I can tell he's building up to what he thinks is going to solve it. And then halfway through the essay, he just goes, and I know for a fact one-year-olds are delicious. And I go, what? And then the rest of the essay is justifying human cannibalism. What? I, I've i never been so caught off guard. Game of Thrones, M. Night Shyamalan, nothing came close to how... <laughs> How surprised I was. It, apparently it was a work of satire, which makes a lot of sense, but like, I was so caught off guard, I thought, I thought he was gonna like, suggest like, the Department of Education be founded or something. I thought there was gonna be like, some legitimate policy here, and he's like, we should eat children. That, that was the thesis. <laughs> what? I can't make this stuff up. It's act if you want to find it, I'm not making this up. It's a famous essay. I think it's called like a modest proposal. I'm not sure. It's written by like Jonathan Swift or something. So yeah, that's uh that's my that's my adventure. I'm sorry I'm just sitting around here, but there's some dude that's taking a half hour to get to mid. I can hear him. Just kidding, I can't hear him. I'm using my uh, ghost client's x-ray system. It automatically photoshops to look like I'm playing legit. It's pretty advanced. It, it edits the video feed in real time. Yeah. It's like my ghost menu. He broke a wood block. Aha! Peekaboo! <laughs> wow, he actually came pretty close to killing me there. I I underestimated how much gear he had, but I had, you know, I had, like, full diamond and sharp one. I wasn't really too worried. Alright. Let's throw it on regen, because why not? We should probably get a compass at some point. We got, uh, two nerds left. Mining girl of doom and sporty BO3. Uh, mid continuing to give us absolutely no gear whatsoever. Thanks, mid. Very helpful. Wee. All right. Uh, I'm not here. Nope. Just, I'm not even, don't pay no attention. This was here the whole time. I am invisible. This was part of the natural map, man. I, I don't think they're buying it. Don't think they're buying it. Well, I ran out of school things to talk about in my defense school like just started okay it's not I don't really have a whole lot of material to work with but I found my current experiences pretty interesting and surprise attack yep oh. all right they gonna try something mining girl of doom gonna try something oh dang they put down the regeneration potion really your strategy was to walk slightly to the side all right, well, what? Ow. Okay. Okay, you discovered that hitboxes are actually slightly larger. Are they? They probably are. It's probably because the arrow can arc over as well. Try it. I dare you. Surprise attack! Thanks for building my platform, and later. All right. Bump, bump, bump. Back to mid I go. All right. I guess I can talk about Pokemon Go a little bit. I don't know. Pokemon Go is such, like... It's such a weird experience, because, like, so many people play it. I don't know. Honestly, one of the cool things that happened was there's, like, a park. A park. It's not close to where I live, but, you know, it's in driving distance, whatever. Where there's, like, five Pokestops right next to each other, and people, like, all group there and add, like, 12,000 lures. And it's honestly really... It's a really strange experience, because, like, whenever a rare Pokemon appears, you can hear each group of people say its name out loud, like, one by one. Like, I saw a Bulbasaur, like, Bulbasaur, and the group next to us went, Bulbasaur! And then I heard, like, an echo of Bulbasaur in the back, like, everyone freaking out over this thing. I love Bulbasaur, by the way. Like, in the games, it's not my favorite Pokemon, but in Pokemon Go, it is my favorite. I just want a grass-type Pokemon, okay? There's not that many good ones. I want one. Yeah, that was a pretty close fight. Oh dang, second killer, XX King underscore Opic XX. I'm surprised I beat him. Honestly, Pokemon Go is like a game 
Honestly, I, I think it's like kind of a terrible game when you look at it. I still play it, it's still fun, but I think like the design is just so awful. But the fact that so many people play it actually adds like another layer to it. Like it's so popular, like my English teacher talked about it for like 10 minutes at the start of class. He was like bragging how he had more Pokemon than another teacher. Now he was level 22, which is actually quite surprising. Please don't, please don't stab me. All right, he's going to take at least 12 seconds. Well, not 12. Well, you guys know what I mean. You guys know I'm just going to, okay, he's actually taking 12 seconds. This worked out. Please don't have gear. Please don't have gear. Please don't, okay, good. He doesn't have gear. Oh, there's another guy here. Please don't have gear. Well, I have strength. Deal with it. Strength. All right, that strength very narrowly saved me there. And pants. Thank you. Just need to regenerate, and the game is won. Regen one isn't gonna cut it. No, 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 I was like, this is a really easy fight, and then I jumped down and accidentally opened a chest and got the crap beaten out of me. It was awful. Well, at least there's good stuff in this chest, am I right? Hey. Let's get some healing. And we're set. Alright. Alright. Bump, bump, bump. Mm -hmm. Just a chance a sword right here. Nope, nope. Denied. Alright, actually we can get Sharp 3 Knockback 1. Knockback 1 is a great enchantment for Skywars. I mean, when it works. I think I've mentioned this before, but Knockback is a kind of weird in Hypixel and Minecraft in general. It doesn't, doesn't really work half the time. Or maybe everyone's a hacker and I don't know it. I don't know. I don't know, man. I just assume... Minecraft's not the best PvP-optimized game, let's be real here. Alright, where, where are the nerds at? Please, I need I need to end this game. I don't have anything to talk about. Except my Pokemon. To be fair, my Gyarados is pretty awesome. I'm quite proud of it, but that's that's about it. I, I have a Jolteon, but I, I mean it's it's an electric type. All the electric types are awful. That's why <laughs> They're just so bad. Like compare compare a Vaporeon. Have a Vaporeon fight any electric type. It's gonna win. Ha Tajamos? Haj... Haj... What? I have seen hack spelled many ways, but that is... That is a str Oh, no. Oh, so much damage. Oh, no. This is a near-death experience. Alright, is this... You know what? I'm just... I'm just gonna act oblivious. You both can attack me at the same time? Oh, actually, you have gear. Uh, block a crit, block a crit. Nope. That's not happening. Alright. Oh, he's resistant to fire. Well, that's smart. That's smart. He's being aggressive because he pr pretty much critted me in the back is his only chance of winning at this point. I got sharp three and full diamonds. Hacks! No, it was... I, I'm sorry. I got that wrong. It was more of a... Hacks! You, you, had to, you had to differentiate the question mark there. Speaking of people calling hacks, I don't know how spec chat is going. I have encountered no opposition to the idea. Only support... Everyone seems to want it to happen, and I think it's just a matter of admins haven't made it happen. Admins, please. Spec chat. Spec chat, please. Alright. It was like my favorite part of solo mode, and it's been taken away from me, man. It's been taken away. I'm not even sure if it was intentionally taken away. There really was never an explanation. Alright. I mean, everyone in the comments is going to be like, well, I think... Oh, no, 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 don't beat me up. No, 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 All right. Let's not panic. Let's not panic. Let's not panic. All right, let's panic a little bit. Let's stab this guy. All right, well, he fell off. Um. Oh, he's back. I get his stuff. Thank you, rubber band. And all right, what can we do? We can get sharp three. We just need the levels, which requires us to be left alone for a few seconds. That's not going to happen. All right. Anyone else? And oh, okay, okay. This this isn't going to happen. This isn't going to happen, dude. All 
right. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Strength, dude. Excuse me. And I didn't... I didn't ever get to enchant... Okay. Never got to enchant my sword. It, it's tribal, man. It's hectic. Oh, boy. We got our weekly quests. Plus three souls. And now I have, a uh, 385. Yeah, people have been asking me about the solo. I got... I finally got all the items in the solo. The uh, last one I got was the Pyromancer perk. Which is actually one of the ones I wanted the most, but I don't really play ranked anymore, so... Whatever, man. So yeah, now I'm just gonna let them uh, pile up as high as they can go. It's more interesting than opening the soul well for what, like another 200 coins? Nah. That was another episode of Skywars, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. It's not a request. You're, you're forced to leave a like. Control is an illusion. Free will is a synonym for illusion, so I don't sound repetitive. Um... You know what, whatever. Bye!